Hey everyone, today we will look at telling time to the hour and half hour. Telling time is a life skill, which is something you will always use, and it's also important so you are not late. So what we're gonna be looking at is how time is a measure of how long something will take, and you can use time to tell when you need to be somewhere or when something will happen. We're gonna begin with an analog clock. And an analog clock is one that has numbers one through 12, and a hour hand and a minute hand. You can tell by this picture here, this is a wristwatch, which some people wear, as well as a clock you might find in a kitchen, like this cute little kitty cat. In our world today, we are, found, we are surrounded by digital, but it is so important that you are aware and do know how to tell time with an analog clock. Even in our classroom, we have the analog clock. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna look at is on a clock, there are numbers one through 12, and those are telling you your hours. There are 24 hours in one day. When it is 12 o'clock a.m., that's actually midnight, and when it's 12 o'clock p.m., it's noon, and that's actually afternoon. Now, when you're counting with the minutes, each of those numbers that you saw on the uh, clock before represent five minutes. So you would then be skipping count, skip count by fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And you wouldn't say 60, you would just say o'clock. At the top is where there is zero minutes. Here you can see the hour hand is circled in red and it's pointing at the three. And on this slide, the long hand tells the minutes and it's pointing at the 12, so that would be o'clock. So the time is three o'clock. And this is a digital clock, which is what you would use when you're writing down the actual time for your answer. And as you can see right here, the colon separates the hour from the minutes. So the hour is written first, and then the minute is written second. There's always two digits in the minutes, uh, section of the clock. And when you're writing this or typing this on the computer, you're going to be using that shift and that colon uh, button to represent the time. So you'd write three, then you push shift and this key, and then you'd write the minutes. So clocks move forward, and this is called clockwise. And there are 60 minutes in one hour. Now we are looking at telling time to the half hour. So let's do this. As you can see here, I love pizza, and what this looks like is half of a pizza. So when thinking about time, half hour is like half of a pizza. And in a whole pizza or whole clock is 60 minutes, so half would be 30 minutes. You got it. The first step in telling time to the half hour is to look at the shorthand. When it is between two numbers, like shown here, between one and two, it is the hour that is first. So the number one comes first. So right now we know it is one, and then second step is to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So our minutes are 30 minutes past the hour, and our answer is 1.30. Another way to say this is half past one. So half past means half of the hour. Half of the hour is 30 minutes. 30 minutes past one, one thirty. Time for review, here we go, people. Looking at this clock, thinking about the hour hand and the minute hand, the time is, you got it, seven o'clock. Here we go. You can tell this is to the half hour because it is half of the clock. It's between the 12 and the one. Think about the steps, the first step, which number comes first, 12 or what? Then your minutes. 12.30 is correct. All right, same thing here, okay? You can see that the hour hand is the shorter hand. You always look for that one first. It's between the seven and eight. So which number comes before seven or eight? And then you can tell this is half of the clock for the minutes. So this is a half hour time. The time is 7.30, you got it. Last one here. I'll give you a second. 6.30 is correct. Here's the Google Slides activity that you will do. It's called Telling Time to the Hour and Half Hour, and this is a follow-up from the instructional video you would have just seen. 
And on this slide, you're going to drag and move the arrows to show the correct time. Above each of these empty clocks is the time that you're going to model. So the first one is 8.30. So when I think of 8.30, okay, I have to think to myself, well, 8 is between, it's almost 9, 9 o'clock because I'm not going to go backwards to 7. So 8.30 means it's heading towards 9. That means the hour hand is going to be just past the 8. And see how I was able to line that up on that dot here, and then I can just drag the tip. Now this is a reoccurring line, and I can see the 8.30, I line it up right there, is down here, which is half of the clock, 30 minutes. All right, so that one shows 8.30. You're going to do the same thing with the rest of the activity. And there, the arrows come right here. You line it up, and then you can click on this tip, this marshmallow and you can move the clock however you need it to be to resemble the time it's asking and then click off and you can see it works. All right. The hour hand is going to be red and the minute hand is blue. Then on the slide after that, I give you the times. Now you are going to, uh, I give you the clocks, the analog clocks. Now you are going to type in the digital time. Don't forget, I told you how to use that colon key on the keyboard. If you don't remember, rewind this video and go back to that where it shows you the keyboard. The last slide, just a quick one, click and drag the clock to show that time. It's a match. Only one of them. All right?